Ciao! This is my favorite week of the year. It's World Week of Italian Cuisine, every year at the end of November. This initiative from the Italian government spotlights authentic Italian restaurants throughout the world, and Alan and I are checking out what's happening in the Bay Area. Think of me as a younger, much younger, Sally Tucci, who is actually fluent in Italian. Searching for Italy, but in San Francisco. Now let's go eat, drink, and be Italian. Our culinary adventure begins in downtown San Francisco. We're at Monte Sacro, which is the first pizzeria in the United States. And if you're wondering what a pizza is, you're just about to find out. We start with the classic antipasto, prosciutto and parmesan cheese. A pizza is like a pizza, but not quite. In fact, it's older than pizza, originating in Imperial Rome. It's made with a combination of wheat, soy and rice flours, and it's lower in carbs, calories, gluten, cholesterol and sugar, meaning it's much easier to digest than pizza. I have a confession I can't tell most Italians, and that's that I don't always eat all my pizza crust, but a pizza crust is light and fluffy, and I can always eat all of it. Day two, and we're in San Francisco's little Italy North Beach. We're starting with an antipasto here at the Italian Home Company. We're gonna try Chiedina. Chiedina is a typical Italian flatbread, which is typical of the region of Emilia Romagna, or better, Romagna. So this is a Chiedina Classica. It has prosciutto, tracchino, and arugula. It's nice. Mm -hmm. It's not an Italian tortilla. It is Chiedina. And now for our main course, we're a California fish market restaurant. What most people think of Italy is, oh, pasta and pizza, but remember we're surrounded by so much water, like our coastline is basically 90% of our whole territory. So seafood plays a very important role in our diet. Alan and I are not big fish eaters, but tonight we're gonna make an exception just for you. Okay, we cheated a little bit, and fish and chips is not traditionally Italian. However, in Ireland, fish and chips was brought by Italian immigrants. So, technically this is an Irish-Italian dish. Finishing the night with a traditional gelato. It is day three, and as you can see, we crossed the bridge. We're now north of San Francisco, about to reach Sausalito. Tonight we're visiting Sandrino. This is a love story, not only a restaurant. You know I'm a romantic, so I'm all into that. Alessandro is originally from Verona, and Monica is originally from Sud Tirol, which is the northernmost region of Italy where they speak German. They fell in love with America and moved here in 2015. The restaurant is a fusion of Italian northern cuisine, focusing mostly on alpine cuisine, so very special. Let's go and check it out. This is my new favorite soup. It's literally a soup made of wine. It's a Tyrolean gnocchi from Monica's home region of Sutero. They're much bigger and they're served with cabbage and cumin. Pizza Trentina with a smoked ham, pachata with black truffles, mozzarella, and pepper. Looks amazing. crossed the East Bay Bridge and now we're in Emilia Romagna. Well, not really, like we're in Berkeley. We're in Riva Cucina. This is uh, another Emilia Romagna restaurant. The restaurant is currently close to the public, so they're only doing takeaway and delivery. But we got a special invitation, so we're gonna be dining alone inside and Chef Massi is gonna look after us with a special menu for the week of Italian cuisine. My name is Massi, I'm the chef and owner of Riva Cucina. Uh, we've been here for the past 14 years, uh, featuring the cuisine of my region, Emilia Romagna. Massi and his wife live in Napa Valley and they make their very own wine for their restaurant, which we're going to try tonight. 
The theme this year is sustainability and all the ingredients of the soup and the salad, they all come from the backyard of Masi and Jen, so it doesn't get more sustainable than that. It's delicious. These are cappellacci, which in Italian means ugly hats. There's butternut squash inside. The sauce is butter and sage, which is absolutely delicious. You can find out what's going on near you through the Italian Embassy or Consulate in your area or just by checking in with your local Italian trattoria. Ciao! Saw that. Everybody saw that. <laughs>